I've been talking about getting a grown-up toy a lightsaber for quite a while. A long time. When I went to C2E2, I had the opportunity to talk to a lot of fellow fans, fellow costumers, and get their recommendations, and the name that I kept hearing over and over again was Ultra Sabers. This is the Graflex CE. Graflex, for anyone who might not know, is the brand of the Flash assembly from the 40s, I think, that was used to build Luke's original lightsaber in A New Hope. This design, like everything that comes from Ultra Sabers, is machined aluminum. I went with the CE because it has the nickel plating. There's not a huge difference in the way that light reflects off the different metals, but it's enough that, to me, I look at it and it looks more authentic. It also needs to be polished a little bit more. I find myself getting, getting it dark with the oils from my skin, and once you take a soft cloth to it, it's fine. It's all shiny and pretty again. Uh, this design is not a 100% exact replica or like the exact perfect tiny details like the little clip that's on the side and some of the other things that were part of the original found object. For my purposes, it's pretty much ideal with the options I got, which was the blade plug and the cover tech clip, belt clip. My price before shipping was $315, which I think is great. I looked at some of the other options and really for my purposes, didn't feel they were necessary. So I do have the basic LED, the, uh, the light uh, basic sound card. And as you can see, Pretty darn impressive. I'm a fan, I'm a costumer, I'm an actor who does stage combat, and this is really cool! On the subject of being someone who does stage combat, I am primarily a rapier person, and first thing I do when I pick anything up is to see how it balances. So I was pretty excited when I picked this up, and this happened. It is balanced very much like my rapier. This is my swept hilt rapier from Starfire Swords I've had for about 20 years. I'm very comfortable with it. It feels very familiar to me, but as far as the balance and the feel of it in my hand, how much of it is back in the pommel. If I pick both of these up, obviously the lightsaber is lighter. It feels very familiar. It feels very similar to me. And I feel like this is something that I could get to used to working with very quickly. Obviously my rapier I don't usually use as a two-handed weapon but this means I can be comfortable with this either way. This is styled like a prequel era lightsaber with the cover tech clip rather than the ring at the end. I'm sure you could add the ring if you wanted to. When I ordered in March, they had a special going that they were including a free initiate saber with each order over $300, so I did get that. It was a grab bag. It was whichever one they threw in. It didn't add, give me any options as to what it was, but I'm getting a free Shogo. So, I have these to play with now, and that's going to be fun. Uh, the Initiate Saber is a stunt saber. It has no sound card. It's orange. That's okay. It's like, it's like a creamsicle Shoto. These are quite sturdy. They can stand up to quite a bit of contact. That is, of course, what Ultra Saber's reputation is for. They do tout themselves as combat sabers, and unless you're swinging to hit somebody else's blade as hard as you can, which if you're doing decent choreography you shouldn't be doing, you're going to be fine. Now this is particularly impressive to me because this design is made so that it is actually anchored in place with just the one screw. Now on the Graflex they have very cleverly placed the screw in a spot where there is actually a piece on the original. You see that it does actually make kind of a dent in the plastic where the screw is holding it in there, but it's not going to be anything that's seen because it's hidden by the shroud of the saber, and so it's going to hold it there and it's going to make it secure. If it's something that will eventually wear, they do sell replacement blades, so that's not something that's going to concern me very much at this point. If I come back in a year and say, yeah, it ate itself, we'll see what happens. But right now it seems like it's going to be pretty sturdy. I did buy the basic blade plug as one of my options because I am indeed in favor of not 
blinding people with a very bright LED. Now the plastic of the blade plug is a little harder than the plastic of the blade. So I'm not screwing the screw in all the way because I don't want to strip the star and make it so I can't use the screw. Um, but this is fine. It's not bothering me. It might bother you, in which case perhaps you would want to get a different screw. This is the basic one. It's just have this nice, simple, elegant little circle shape. They do have several other designs. I actually really just liked this basic one the best. I liked how it looked the best, so that's what I got. One of the first things my coworker asked me when he was playing with it is if these buttons did anything. The answer is they do not. When I was a kid, my first lightsaber was a paper towel roll. Not bad for little hands, something that I wasn't going to break. So if you're looking to graduate to a grown up toy, and like me, you've really only seen the kids' toys before, I'll give you a little bit of comparison. This is the Hasbro Electronic. Saber from two. This is the version from 2005 when Revenge of the Sith came out. It's the color changing one for Anakin, and as you can see, it's quite a bit bigger. Uh, this is the Hasbro sound. So that gives you a little bit of an idea what kind of an upgrade you get when you go with the grown-up toy. is the current Blade Builders Anakin Saber from Hasbro. You know, if your kids are using these, they'll give you an idea of what the, the shape will be like, what the size will be like. They're, pretty cl they're a pretty close match. This is your speaker and your bat where your batteries are in here. Again, that helps with the balance and the weight. And it takes four regular AAA batteries, so I don't have to go there's an option to get the, the lithium ion batteries and make it rechargeable. I decided to go simple. My experience was that they shipped very quickly. It was definitely an uh, under promise and over deliver situation there. Uh, if you're curious about anything that I didn't cover, please leave a question in the comments below and I will let you know my opinion on that particular topic. But otherwise, thank you Ultra Cybers for making a great product, I really have nothing bad to say. I don't know if that makes it a proper review or if it's just me squeeing. I do a lot of that. May the force be with you and until next time.